Hey everybody, wherever you are, if you're visiting and only in town for a few days, or if you're a local looking to mix it up, we thought we'd do the heavy lifting for you and map out the best way to spend your day. This is Three Stops. Today, in celebration of Women's History Month, we're highlighting more than just a single city. In fact, in a three stops first, we'll be taking a look at can't-miss spots all over the world. Stop number one, the Joan of Arc statue. Also known as the Jeanne d'Arc by locals and generally people who speak French, this is an 1874 sculpture of one of the most important female figures of all time. A patron saint of France, Joan of Arc's unfathomable bravery led to her becoming a military leader who transcended gender roles and gained recognition as a savior of France. Speaking of displays of unprecedented courage, stop number two, the Morami Statue of Liberty. Built in honor of Queen Queen Morami Ajasoro in the very same spot she lived many centuries ago, Queen Morami is remembered as one of the greatest women in Yoruba history for her bravery and heroism in liberating countless men, women, and children from the neighboring village that had been enslaving and kidnapping her people. The tallest statue in Nigeria and fourth tallest in Africa, it is a towering monument to one of the greatest women in all of history. Stop number three, Women's Rights National Historical Park. In late July of 1848, the first ever Women's Rights Convention was held in Seneca Falls, New York, and in that very spot today, you'll find this National Historical Park. The visitor center is open daily and features two floors of exhibits including the famous first wave statue commemorating those who attended the convention nearly 175 years ago. Let's make one last bonus stop and grab a bite to eat. Follow me as we head to Oakland, California where executive chef and owner of Coco Breeze, Annabelle Goodridge, is serving up the tastiest and most skillfully crafted West Indian cuisine in the Bay Area. 